with all this talk here lately about UFOs and unidentified flying objects, I've gone back into doing some more UFO research than I had in years prior. Now, where I live, there are a lot of UFO sightings dating back all the way to the 1940s, including a Men in Black case and even a Project Blue Book, which was a government uh, investigation of a sighting that took place about 15 miles north of my house, which is really cool. We actually did a video on that a few months ago as part of our Project Blue Book series, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. That was a fun series to make. But I spend a lot of time outside. And during my time, I said, I have seen some very strange things. And actually, a few years ago in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, when we were on vacation, I actually recorded video of what I believe are UFOs. But I decided last night that I was going to take my camera, my Nikon D5600, which I'm using to shoot this video, and my 70 to 300 millimeter lens, and I was going to try some astrophotography, which is a passion of mine. Um, I haven't quite gotten it down yet, but it's always fun to experiment with some different styles and practice. Uh, you know, as I say, practice makes it perfect. But I also wanted to try and see if I did see anything in the sky and also if I could catch it on camera. And well, what I saw last night was impressive. I have never seen that many unidentified flying craft um, before my life and there were these weird flares that we were seeing my brother was assisting me and it sucked because i was able to get some of it on camera but most of it i wasn't able to which that kind of sucks but you know that's kind of what you get for using a kit lens for you know a big undertaking like that now before i go into what i saw and what i captured on video i just want to say i'm not an expert on if ufos or with anything like this i don't believe there's any experts in a field that's you know that delves into the unknown. So I might present a photo or video be like, hey, I'm not able to debunk this. I don't know what this is, but you might say, oh, that's this and this and this. So, you know, if any of those moments pop up where I don't know what something is, but you do, comment below. We really appreciate it. I mean, as with anything, we're not gonna say this is 100% UFOs. We're, we're not a clickbait channel. But a lot of this stuff I have not been able to debunk yet. So we're just gonna leave it as unexplained. But I'm going to show you a piece of footage that I took that's really, really good. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And then there's two other pieces of video. You might not see anything in it, but also the audio of our experiences or our reactions to it in real time is mainly what I'm showing there. And then there's also some photographs that we're going to delve into. So without further ado, let's talk about UFOs. Okay, so it's it can't pick it up here on the camera. But I see it, yeah. There's that? a really fast moving object. There it is, I got it. I saw it for just a split second. I don't think I have it now. I there it is. I got it, I got it, I got it. Look at the screen. Yeah. Look at the screen. So, yeah, my hand is shaking right now, but that is an object that does not have any blinking lights and is moving really quickly. And I am following it with the camera. Huh. And now it's gone. Okay, so the camera can't pick it up at all, but I see it. It's right there, just a yeah. quick moving car. There's an even brighter one. Look, there's two of them. I see it. It just went out. I see it right there. It just went out. Uh -oh. There is a fast moving object right there. Oh, of course, the camera's not going to pick it up. How many does that make tonight? Huh? How many does that make tonight? That's like five or six that we've seen. So while I was calibrating the camera, I realized that I wouldn't be able to record clear video of the night sky, which was a bummer because one of the main things I set out to do was record footage of these unexplained lights. What I decided to do instead was take long exposures of the night sky whenever I saw something in the sky that looked strange so that I could at least have a star trail of the craft. Now, the photos that you see on the screen are be a series of a few photographs that I took during the hour and a half that I was outside last night. And some of these were very, very weird to watch. Um, I have a very wide angle of the night sky, so I can cover a lot of different directions. And then there's also a mountain, so I can kind of, you know have a few visual points that I can point to in photos. But a lot of these lights I noticed when they were close to being overhead or about half a mile away. So that's why some of them are closer than usual. And most of these are also set to about 15 second exposures. 
and then 30 second exposures. And what you're looking for in the photo is going to be the straight lines. And those are the paths that these objects took. Now, understand that even though these are 15, 30 second exposures, these unidentified crafts, I don't know really what to call them, these UFOs were going really fast. And the one you're going to see that I'm going to highlight here in a second was really creepy because if you look at the star trail on it, it changes direction twice. And there was actually one more time we ended up seeing the craft. I didn't get a photo of it because it's a little too far away and my camera wouldn't focus on it, but it had changed course again. Now, all of these lights that we saw had no FAA lights. They had no beacons, no nothing. They were solid objects, blue, white. There was one that had like a yellowish look to it, just moving at almost supersonic speeds and making these crazy maneuvers. You never know what you're going to see when you look into the sky. So I highly recommend if you're able to just take a few minutes, you know, it could be five minutes, could be 20 minutes, could be an hour, but go outside at night and just watch the stars. Just, just do it. It's really relaxing. And then also you never know when you're going to see something really cool and really creepy.